Do you know what the biggest obstacle to team synergy is? You guessed it. Conflict resolution. Being able to manage conflict and difficult conversations within your team is monumental. I love to use the Thomas Kilman conflict resolution model. Let me describe it to you. On the vertical axis, Thomas has assertiveness, and on the horizontal axis, he has cooperativeness. He proposes of the five different ways to approach a conflict, you could do it almost in a prescriptive fashion. He has two ideal places, better places to come from within a team when you have conflict, and I'd like to lay the five areas out for you. Bottom left, avoidance. So avoidance is uncooperative. I'm not gonna do what you tell me to, but passive, non-assertive. I'm not gonna tell you that I'm not gonna do it. So it is definitely passive aggressive and it's not healthy within a team. Because if you remember when we talked about the conflict continuum from Patrick Lencioni last week, it moves us into artificial harmony. And in a team, if you're gonna be productive, you have to say what needs to be said to move through issues. There's, it's the only way. On the bottom right is accommodating. So accommodating behavior is cooperative, great on a team, but it's also unassertive. Not so great if you're a leader or you're sacrificing something you need or something your team needs. Upper left-hand quadrant is competing. Competing actually is it's really the power mode. And I have seen this where the assertive behavior is so extreme. I actually think it moves out of Thomas Kilman's assumption that everybody has appropriate behavior on a team into aggressive, inappropriate behavior. On the conflict continuum from last time with Patrick Lencioni, it moves us into the red zone, uh, the mean, cruel-spirited personal attacks not healthy or helpful on a team. In the middle, midpoint on assertiveness and midpoint on cooperative is compromise. Compromise is the minimum place you want to be with your team members. So at a minimum, if I come in and I have a pie and you want half of it, what we want to be able to do is say, okay, I'll keep half, you get half. That's a compromise. The challenge and why it's not as good as it could be is you're not actually looking at any of the issues deeply. You're not resolving anything. You're just saying, okay, let's meet in the, in the middle. The best quadrant, the best place to be is collaboration. And there's a few reasons for this. First, collaboration is solution oriented, which I love both people are satisfied in a collaborative conversation. They dig in, they go deep. They work on what are the underlying concerns. They're open and honest in that ideal point or my revision, ideal zone of honesty. They explore what's really going on and they're willing to learn from each other. This is vital. By doing that, they have insights and they come up with effective, substantive resolutions to their conflict. That's where you want to be, in the collaborative zone. So here's my challenge for you. Next time you have a conflict, stop yourself. Assess which of the five modes are you coming from and is that where you want to be coming from? Is that what's healthy for you? And is that what's healthy for the team? If it's not, figure out where do you need to come from and how do you do that? You got this. Good luck.